hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel um <laughs> my name is peace i'm here to give you a content that you like to see yeah you would definitely love to see this um i'll be talking about the documents i submitted for my study permit so some people reach out to me to ask what are the documents you submitted so i'll be mentioning them in this video and i would like you to subscribe to my youtube channel if you love what i'm putting out there if you love what i'm doing share like recommend my page for your friends okay thank you for standing with us in this journey all right so let's go straight to what we have today so i'll be looking down because i wrote them down the documents i submitted for my study permit remember i told you in my previous video about how i how everything went how we the back and front you know the refusal so now i want to talk about the documents i submitted for my study permit and the document i submitted for my kids so i want to quickly put a disclaimer i'm not an ircc consultant i'm sharing my opinion my journey with you guys how and the hows and the when and the everything you need to know yes yeah, so please okay um one of the documents you need for your study permits is is some people said oh the sop is the problem no sop is not the problem one of the documents you need is your loa letter of admission your offer letter your offer letter of admission no that letter is very important because before you apply for a study permit, you need to have your admission letter normally, right? So your LOA. So I submitted my LOA, the data page of my international passport, then a passport photograph. Data page is different from your normal passport photograph. So a passport photograph that dimensions bore I submit I sent the normal passport then the lawyer expanded it to the the required size so then the receipt of my tuition deposit the receipt of my tuition deposit so then because I'm married I submitted my marriage certificate if you're not married it's not necessary okay why because of the name some of your documents like mine some of my documents were bearing my former name which is my former surname so the new my international passport is bearing my husband's surname so i have to present a document that validates the change of name then newspaper publication you know when you when after your marriage they will tell you to go and do newspaper publication for change of name so i have i i bought the the newspaper then i kept it so aside your your marriage certificate i added that newspaper the the photocopy of that newspaper publication to show that okay it was generally announced that this name this one is no longer in use this one is the real name from now so i submitted that newspaper publication then another another document then your sop my sop was written by my my immigration lawyer that i used so it was written by him though i saw what he did so that aside then the the proof of funds you know for you to be in canada three things get admission 
submit your visa and for you to get visa you need proof of funds yeah you need letter of admission so proof of phone is after your admission letter proof of phone is the coco the next bege <laughs> is either it allow you in or it take you out right so but it's good to get everything right okay so your proof of funds so and my proof of phone it, uh, it shows because my cost is two years it has to show the living expenses for two years my tuition for two years the living expenses for my kids for two years it has to cover it though the required is one year but you need to show where the remaining year will come from so it was there in the proof of form then constant later for my kids constant later from their father that is from my husband then we do home ties the next thing your home tie so i use my husband as my home tie okay so if your husband is coming with you you use your parents as your home ties it's either you do home ties or economic ties so i use my husband as my home tie and my mom as my home tie so they know that you are living in canada because you have to prove to them that you are living in canada after studies so um that's then reference later reference later from my previous work i got two references i got from two places so reference later from your previous or your current work then another one if you are working your later of leave leave later like they are permitting you to go and study yes so these are just it the one i submitted for my children is um their birth certificate then total page of the international passport then passport photograph um that's all that's all what i submitted for them that's all then i'm going to share another thing i don't want the video to be too lengthy so i'll be sharing another thing about children's um ages and the right visa you need to submit for your child okay so stay tuned please please subscribe to my youtube channel refer recommend and comment is important to us if you love my video please if you have any question drop it at the comment section and i'll be most glad to answer you okay so thank you for everything see you is your girl peace see you next in my video thank you bye